Okay, so I have a router that is has a password set on it, and I'm connected through the console cable to the console port, and I type enable, and I cannot figure out the password. It does not work. So what I have to do is, you need physical access to your router. I am going to restart the router by actually having to power it off, because I can't type reload here. It just tries to, it says, oh, reload, okay, I'm, I'll ping reload. I'll try to connect to it. It's not going to work. That command isn't known in user user mode. So i got to physically power off my router, and I'm going to power it back on. Now, what I have to do when I power it back on, I have to break the sequence, and it's the control break key on the keyboard. So right here when the bootstrap loads, there we go. Now I'm in ROM monitor mode. So from here, I type configure reg space 0x2142. And then it says what? You must reset or power cycle for new config to take effect. So now I'm going to type reset. And now it's going to reload my router. So we're going to sit here and watch. So by setting the config registry from 0x2102 to 2142, I'm telling it to bypass what? Huh? The startup configuration, the NVRAM. The four means bypass my NVRAM. The number four in there. So, yep, it takes a while to load the iOS. Okay, it's still loading. Almost. There we go. So now it loaded up, and did it load the configuration? No, it did not. So it brought up and said, hey, I don't have a configuration, so I'm going to start the initial configuration dialog. And this is where it will prompt you for the IP address, interfaces, and so forth. And so here we're going to hit Control-C or answer no. We don't want to go through this little wizard initialization. So I'll press Enter to get started. And now we're on essentially an empty router that has no configuration. So I'm going to type enable. Should I get in? Yes, I am now in privilege exec mode. Watch this. Show startup config. There's my startup configuration. And here's my encrypted password that I could not figure out. So it's still there on NVRAM. So I hit Q to break that show command. And now since I'm in privilege exec mode, I can type copy, no not yet, copy startup config to running config. So now it's gonna, see watch my router prompt. Watch when it, watch what, watch it change. It's a name router, which it is out of the box. And now what is my name? Router A. So now my password and now all the configuration. So show run. The running configuration has that password. So now I'm in a delicate state right now. If I were to type exit and get disconnected, guess what? I have to start all over again. I don't want to do that. So now I go into configuration, global configuration mode, and now I type enable secret easy to remember yeah that's what I'm doing right now I'm changing the the privilege exec mode password so we'll set it to password enable secret password so now now I need to copy this I can't copy from here I got to exit copy my running config to my startup config.
So up here, if we take a look, the secret password, if we do a show run, I'm oh, sorry, not run, oh, there, see? Now my password is different. You can see the, the difference between the two. You can tell they're different. Even though it's, in, you know, it's encrypted, you can tell that they're different. So now my password is set to password. I can now get on my router and I have not lost my configuration. Because that's a very important configuration to make sure things are going to be working, right? One last thing. What happens if this router gets reboot? What's going to happen? It's going to skip and VRAM. So it's not going to load my configuration. So I don't want that. I want it to, if it does happen to get reboot, I want it to load the configuration that I have saved, the start of configuration. So I need to go back into configuration mode, and I need to set the registry back to what it's supposed to be. So I do that by typing config register space 0x2102, which is the default registry setting for a router. Type exit, and now I type copy run start just to make sure that I have my 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 good password that I know saved and I want to show you one last thing show version and if you take a look right at the end it says my config registry is currently 0x2142. It will be 2102 at next reload. So I need to reload my router in order for this to actually have config registry setting the way it's supposed to be. So where did you get the 102? The book just says 0, 0x2102 0 0x, 0 0x is the default config registry setting for a router. 2142, that second to last number, the number four, if you take a look at the, uh, the information in your book, that's what is going to identify your router to ignore the configuration. And that's it.